What's up, niggas? I woke up late. I'm running late as hell. I'm on the way to Ross. I need to grab another suitcase. So I'll pack my bag. I'll bust my fucking suitcase over. So now I gotta go to Ross and get a new damn suitcase. But I'm on the way to the airport so I can go to Houston. I gotta go to Houston for my little birthday celebration bash slash that's going on. Uh, long morning, man. Long morning. We got in Ross. I gotta get a damn double-sided suitcase. I literally popped my shit open while I was packing. This shit crazy. Damn. I just dropped my phones and shit. I'm all over the place right now, bro. You know these double-sided. How much is this shit? 60. We got 60. 60. Don't matter. It don't make no difference. It is locked though. How do these lock? My suitcase has got a lock for what I'm putting in here. They have to be able to lock. Damn. Shit don't lock like that. This the only one that got a lock like that. 60. Alright. This one it is. I'm about to spend 60 on the suitcase. Y'all watch this ad. I done got all packed. All the way to the airport. Bro, I'm so out of breath. It's hot as shit. And it took me hell long to pack that suitcase. Boys at the airport, man. Again. Oh, y'all see I'm into L merch today. These are samples, so I can't tell y'all where to go get these just yet. They're not up yet, but these are samples. If y'all feeling it, let me know and I'll make sure to get more of them. What am I doing? I'm checking into this shit. I don't know why I came here because it's not letting me print a fucking bag tag. It just asked me what did I want it to do and it gave me a damn boarding pad. Not a fucking bag tag. Bro, I'm in the airport. I got like an hour to my plane board and the line is long as hell to check my bag. So you gotta have your bag checked like 45 minutes and shit before the flight leave to make the flight. And I got the Boobang. I got Boobang one, Boobang two. And there, this line long as hell. I'm all the way at the back of the line. What the fuck am I gonna do? I got like 15 minutes for my bag to be checked. And at the rate that I'm in the back of the line, it's not gonna happen. Niggas got boxes and this nigga moving weed. This nigga got weed in them boxes, bro. Moving weed through the airport. I got, I got a farm I gotta check. This nigga moving weed through the airport. They coming to ask me about my firearms and shit. Shit crazy, man. This nigga right here think he cooler than everybody. Want to see him text on his phone. Hold the line up, bro. All this space right here, bro. This nigga want to text on his phone. Got everybody just stuck back here. Like, bitch ass nigga off your phone. Thank you. See what I'm saying? Nigga move when I tell the nigga move. Get your bitch ass off the phone. All that texting and shit. Nigga, get your bitch ass off the phone and move the line. Now we move. There's 11.55. Like I said, with my mama. The lady checking me in, checking my bags in. Nine out of 10, nigga, she pressure, nigga. On my mama, nigga, for show a clap on my mama. Wait for her to get back, nigga. I'm gonna see if I can sneak a sneak recorder, nigga, cause pressure, nigga, on my mama, nigga. Her name Brittany, too. Hey, Brittany, if you so happen to watch this vlog any kind of way, you got my information for my driver license. Please call me so you can get clapped. That'd be like one of the best birthday gifts ever. Brittany, call me so you can get clapped. Thank you. <laughs> they always have this issue. You're not supposed to fly with ammo in a package that's not a box. It's supposed to be in the original package, but this is the original package that I bought the ammo in. I bought it in this original package. So, I mean, they have to let me fly with it because that's the original pack that I bought it in. I didn't put that in there myself. She wanted to go get her manager to make sure I could fly with it, but I had the same problem when I flew here because it's not in a hard box, but it says as long as it's in the, in the original packaging, you're good. That's the original packaging. I bought it in that packaging. Like the manufacturer put it in that packaging. So, I mean, I, I don't know. If I take it out of there and put it in a hard box, that's not the original packaging. So, 
I mean, it ain't nothing I could do but fly with this shit, because that's the original packaging. She bringing this white nigga over here. He look about racist as shit. Oh, my goodness. Hey, y'all, if y'all don't see this vlog, I went to jail in the airport, because this nigga look about racist as shit. He damn near gonna have a nigga going to jail in this bitch. Look like Santa Claus. Look at this nigga walking. Big old hunky, big chunky white dude. Home phone, FIFA phone phone. Exactly what I said happened, happened. This nigga took the ammo out the case and says, if, if it was my call, I would say no, he can't fly with it. And then gonna take it to the back somewhere for fucking 10 minutes he been gone. This shit is ridiculous, bro. Like shit happened all the time at this fucking airport. Like nowhere else where it happened. All right, my update. If y'all was on my Instagram live, y'all know. So, I got in a big argument with them at the desk for an hour and 30 minutes. They end up taking my ammo and I end up missing my flight. So now I gotta get on a flight that don't leave until six hours from now because they decided to take my ammo and all that and argue with me. So I got everybody named. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw them a big birthday party. I'm gonna give y'all all they name and their info, right? And I want y'all to call American Airlines it's a birthday gift for, for, for me. Y'all call American Airlines and y'all make 10 complaints on them. Especially Seth, the, the main one is the big one. And so I'm gonna give y'all their name and their info and we're gonna throw them a birthday party from the Almighty Gang to them. A big birthday party. Hey y'all, when you're independent, you do everything on your own. I've been so busy that. I didn't even have like official audio to upload on YouTube for the EP. So I had to over final cut and do it myself for each song. It's 8.30. The EP drop at nine. Bro, I got 30 minutes to have eight songs, audio, videos made with the name right here, little effects I put me back. Made and uploaded, bro. I'm not going to make it in time, in 30 minutes for this shit to upload straight like that. So I'm going to have to do it as it upload. Like, shit saving right now. It's taking a long time to save them because the wave file for the audio is so big. It's on 87%, 88 now. It's the first song. I got seven more to go. It's 8.30. And then I'm at the airport. On airport Wi-Fi. And I got to get it uploaded. Tragic. Independent. Lucky for me, the Wi Fi on the airport fast. It's already done processing at 8 34. So it, it's taking like a minute for the song to upload. I just got to get the damn video edited. We got it though. Bro, it's 11 10 p.m. and I'm still in the airport. It's the worst trip to the airport. Right? Make a wish, make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. Still rendering a song, the song. I got two more left. This one and this one. That's just still rendering. My plane about to board in like 10 minutes. So far, six minutes. So I'm about to head to the gate and try to figure that out. This has like been the worst shit ever, man. Like the worst trip to the airport ever in my life. I've been at the airport for like eight hours, bro. Literally, this shit is crazy. Finally, this fucking weird ass plane walk. I'm out of board the plane right now. I got every song up but one. So if y'all see the album upload on YouTube and there's one song missing, it's cause I didn't get to finish rendering it. And I'm out to board the plane. But as soon as I land and get on Wi-Fi, I do that shit. The original flight I was on was a straightaway flight. No stops, no connection, none of that. Fucking Seth Feinberg. The nigga that work at LAX that made me miss my flight because he wanna argue about bullets that I can fly with is the reason why I have to stop in Dallas before I get to Houston. So Seth Feinberg, if you watching this bro, eat a large dick, bro. Hey y'all look. I got the whole train of myself. It's up. What y'all wanna do? Hey, we wanna we want me to come pick him up. I got the whole train of myself, man. What y'all wanna do? You get on the train or what? Wow, damn, I thought I had it myself. It's over with. I ain't gonna cap though. Dallas airport hit a little different. The folk got the game room in this bitch. What? 
I'll plug up and scream on Twitch in this hoe. While y'all playing, how you play this? How you get up in here? Well, y'all folks do not want me to plug up. Well, I will scream on Twitch in this hoe, bro. Don't stop playing with Dallas Airport. Yeah, the game way. Yeah, the game way. Feel sorry for these guys. Doing damn cement and shit in the airport. Them niggas is fucked. Boy, it's five in the morning. Boy, y'all gonna lay y'all lie down while y'all out there playing with cement and shit. Boy. Looks what happens when you're early, so I stumbled across the wrong side of the airport, I guess, because uh, I'm the only motherfucker over here. Thanks, Seth. Seth, whatever your name is. Seth Feinberg. I really appreciate it. Great. I'm the only motherfucker at my gate. Thanks a lot, Mr. Feinberg. Thanks a lot. I'm finally in fucking Houston, Texas, bro. Oh my God. I never in my life want to have an airport trip like that ever again, bro. Now I gotta try to figure out this weird ass shit with my bags. These folks have sent my bags on different planes and shit. My bag landed last night and my other bag, I don't even know where it's at. I tried to check the back, track the bag and it wasn't even popping up. But now I gotta try to find my damn fire, my, my ARP. My ARP was not tracking. The one that they made the big deal about. So fucking Seth Feinberg, fuck my bag up. American Airlines, I'ma sue the shit out y'all ass. You do not Bro. know well to take articles aboard your flight. We appreciate your cooperation. I think somebody stole my fucking ARP in the airport, bro. My nigga. It says my bag arrived at baggage claim on the belt. I went to the belt. My bag not there, bro. I went in the bag office. My firearm not in there, bro. What the fuck is going on?